Do you know these things about SpongeBob Part 2? Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Laffy Tunes. In part one of our videos on fact about SpongeBob, we looked at some really amazing facts about the main characters in this show and some of the facts about the creator behind this long running show. In this video, we take a look at some more amazing facts. If you haven't watched part one of the video, make sure you go watch that one. Now let's go into the part two of the video, stay tuned. Patrick was originally thought of as the angry owner of a roadside bar. SpongeBob best friend also went through a number of iterations before becoming everyone's favorite not so bright neighbor. Initially, Hillenburg came up with an idea of a pink starfish who was not so happy about his coloring. In Hillenburg's original thought, Patrick was the owner of a roadside bar who felt the need to bully others due to his own pastel coloring. In this version, Patrick meets SpongeBob and Squidward while they are on a road trip together and take stop at his bar, a part of Hillenburg's initial pilot concept, bringing the angry tyrants into their lives. However, according to SpongeBob executive producer Derek Dryman, that idea didn't last very long. And after six months of storyboarding with a team that he had put together from friends who had worked with him on Rocco's Modern Life, Hillenburg was eventually able to come up with the versions of the characters that we know and love today. The Krusty Krab is actually modeled after a lobster trap. Everyone's favorite fast food restaurant may not be a real thing, but it is modeled after one. Like many of the objects in Bikini Bottom, the Krusty Krab is modeled after a real-world counterpart that can be frequently found in the oceans due to human pollutions, in this case, a lobster trap. The signature shapes becomes pretty obvious when you compare the two when you look at the pictures of the two side by side. Take a look at the lobster trap, netting and replace it with the Krusty Krab's glass siding and you can totally see the resemblance between the restaurants and the device used to trap Mr. Krabs' lobster's cousins. Another fun fact about SpongeBob's place of employment, it was originally named the Krusty Krab, but like the Kardashians, Hillenburg eventually decided to go with all case for the name. Now, if only the real world had something anywhere near as delicious as the Krabby Patty seems to be. SpongeBob's bubbly personality was modeled on Jerry Lewis, Stan Laurel, and Pee Wee Herman. The creator Steven Hillenburg first described SpongeBob to voice actor Tom Kenny. He brought up the names of some pretty famous comedians along with it. Steve described SpongeBob to me as a childlike and naive. Kenny told Cartoonican, He's not quite an adult, he's not quite a kid. He said that Jerry Lewis, Stan Laurel, and Pee Wee Herman were the go tos for the pairs when discussing the character, especially when coming up with his signature voice. However, that ended up not being too difficult a task of a very talented Kenny who was able to lock in on what he wanted the characters to sound like within seconds. It was amazing to see him capture the characters immediately, said Eric Weiss, a SpongeBob writer and a storyboard artist. Kenny and Hillenburg also talk about bringing in the element of Wizard of Oz Munchkins and Charlie Brown into the character, although Lewis, Laurel, and Herman were their main inspirations. Tom Kenny is a multi-talented voice actor who also voices Gary and the narrator of the show among other characters. Tom Kenny is best known for lending his voice to SpongeBob SquarePants, but the actor has some other pretty impressive credits to his name, including a few other characters on the hit show. Kenny started his career in a stand-up comedy, performing in clubs all over the country for eight years. After some experience acting in shows and movies like How I Got Into College and sketch comedy The Edge, with a young Jennifer Aniston, he decided to get into voice acting voicing Weenie on the Dumb and Dumber TV series and the Heifer Wolf and other character on the Rocco's Modern Life. His first collaborations with SpongeBob creator Steven Hillenburg when he was cast on SpongeBob in 1999. Kenny still didn't slow down, lending his voice not only to the title character, but to his pet snail Gary and the French narrator as well. Kenny has also notably voiced the narrator of the mayor on Powerpuff Girls and Dog and Cat and Dog on Cat Dog. Tom Kenny was in an interesting place when he got the call saying that SpongeBob was moving forward. We all remember where we were when we heard of the news that would change our lives forever. Maybe it was at school or at work or sitting at the car or maybe on the way to work or school. For Tom Kenny, comedian and actor, the news that would change his life came while he was outside in 100 degree weather in a bad smelling stable wearing a fake beard. Pretty LA if you ask us. The actor was filming a sketch for Mr. Shows with Bob and David, working with Breaking Bats Bob Odenkirk and Arrested Development's David Cross. Kenny, who was dressed up as a wizard for the shoot, 
said that the fake outfit and the crappy conditions just added to his desire to move more into voiceover work. A recording studio sounded real good to me, he told Cartoonishan. That brings us to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.